Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson 20. And in this lesson, students are gonna be dividing two and three digit dividends. That's the number inside the house uh, by two digit divisors. And that's the number outside of the house. And uh, basically we're gonna be learning that standard algorithm. That's what they mean by connect to the written method. So let's get started. So the directions say to divide and then check with multiplication. The first one is done for you. And um, they also have gone through in the concept development this technique for how to estimate and, and how, to, how to do the planning. So I do it a little bit different. So let's start with this 89 divided by 21. Now the first thing, parents and teachers, 89 divided by 21, students will often do it wrong by calling it 89 divided by 21 and this is totally wrong that's actually this problem is 21 divided by 89 so if we want 89 divided by 21 we know that we need to write it right here 89 divided by 21 all right so there you go that's a little counterintuitive for our students so parents and teachers be aware of that and the idea is, how are we going to estimate this, uh, what we're going to multiply uh, by? So we're going to say, well, I'm going to estimate 21, and I'm going to round 21 down to 20, and I'm going to skip count by 20. So that's going to be 20, 40, 60, 80, uh, 100, 120, etc. And because I see that I'm trying to go up to 89, that tells me, right about there is what I'm going to do. So that's four, uh, four times. So that is going to be my estimation my for what to multiply by. How many times does 21 go into 89? I'm estimating four times. And so, of course, over here on scratch paper, we're going to actually have to do it. 21 times four, and we get 84. And because 84 is less than 89, that probably tells us we are golden. So 4 times 21 is 84, and we subtract and we have our 5 left over. So our answer is 4 with a remainder of 5. Very classic system. Now, how are we going to check it? Well, checking uh, we're going to do a little bit of multiplication here. So the way we're going to check it is we're going to say, well, 21 times 4 is 84. And then we're going to take that 84 and we're going to add the remainder of 5, which gives us 89. And because our 89, uh, right here, 89 is exactly what was inside the house, that tells us that our multiplication and our division right here, this answer, our quotient, is correct. So we're going to do just one more practice of this very same concept. So our division, let's see, right here, so there's our house, and we know that it's going to be 67 divided by 19. And to estimate how many times 19 goes into 67, I'm going to take that 19 and I'm going to round it to 20, and I'm going to skip count by 20. So you got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and I'm going to stop right here at 3 because any, anything beyond that is larger than 67. So my big estimation is 3, 19 times 3. 19 goes into 67 three times. That's my estimation. So let's try it. 19 times 3, I get 27, carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. So I get 57, and well, 57 is not larger than 67, so I'm thinking that's probably going to be a good estimation, uh, a good number. Uh, so when I subtract, I get 10. And 10 is less than 19, 
So that means that's as good as I can get. I can't get any closer without going over. And so my answer ends up being 3 with a remainder of 10. Now, how do we check it? We go over here and check it. So we're going to do 19 times 3, which gives us 57. How do I know that? Because it says so over here. And then I'm going to take that 57 and I'm going to add in my remainder of 10, which gives me 67. And check that out. That's exactly what was inside the house. So that tells me that my quotient up here with the remainder is correct. Another example here, it's a nice little word problem. It says, a 91 square foot bathroom has a length of 13. What is the width? So we've got this bathroom, and the bathroom's right here. And we know that the length is 13 because it says so, 13 feet. But we don't know what the width is. But we know that when you multiply these, 13, and uh, let's get a fatter pen. So we get 13 times what? And that's supposed to give us 91. So there's our division. So we know that our division is going to be inside the house, it's 91, and outside the house is 13. So uh, how many times does 13 go into 91? Well, I, I'm going to estimate 13. I'm going to round it down to 10. I'm going to say, well, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, right there. So anything over that uh, gives us more than 91. So I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so 9 is going to be my estimation. Now, I don't know if that's right, but I know that's going to be my guess. So what do I do? So I go over here on scratch paper and I do 13 times 9, and I get 9, 10, 11, ooh, 117. Well, that's way over 91, so that tells me that my estimation of 9 is no good. It's too big, so I'm going to erase 9 and I need to try a lower estimation. So let's try an estimation of, oh, eight. So 13 times eight. So that's 24 times eight, and then eight times one is eight, plus two is 10, so 104. Well, that's still too large, so gee whiz, I gotta try again. So let's do 13 times seven. So 13 times seven, so that's 21. And oh, look at that. It's 90, it's uh, 91 exactly. So that tells me 13 goes into 91 seven times, which is 91 exactly. So our remainder is nothing. So that tells us what is the width. There we go. What is the width of the bathroom? Well, it turns out the width of the bathroom is seven. So this width right here is seven. Now, you'll notice my drawing, the length here is 13, the width is seven, but the width is actually looks longer than the height and all that sort of stuff. Um, that's okay. In mathematics, it's all right. The drawing doesn't have to be perfectly to scale. We're all good. So the width is seven feet. All right, the last problem. So we've got, uh, while preparing for a morning conference, Principal Corsetti is laying out eight dozen bagels on plates. Each plate can hold 14 bagels. So first off, how many plates will of bagels will Mr. Corsetti have? So, well, let's take a look. So it says eight dozen bagels. So that's, how many bagels is that? Well, each dozen is 12. So we're gonna do 12 times eight. That gives us 96 bagels. So we have 96, that's a funky way of writing it, bagels, all right? And we know that each plate can hold 14 bagels, so now we have to do 96 divided by 14. And I don't know what how many that is, so we're gonna kinda, I'm gonna, I'm gonna round it to 15. 
15 this time. And I can skip count by 15 because that's 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. Ooh, I'm going to stop right there because it looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so it looks like my estimation is going to be 6. So let's see if I'm right. So I'm going to do 14 times 6. And I get 84. So let's put that in there. So I'm going to put 84 right here. And when I subtract, I get 12. And because 12 is less than 14, that means this is the best estimation or the best I can do with 6. That's as close as I can get to 96 without going over. So our answer is 6 remainder 12. So how many plates of bagels will Mr. Corsetti have? Well, he's going to have six completely filled plates. So he's going to have one, two, three, four, five, six plates. And inside each plate, or on each plate, he's going to have 14 bagels. And then he's going to have one more plate. But that plate is only going to have 12 bagels. That's what this remainder 12 is. So what's the six? The six is telling us that we're going to have six completely full plates. And the 12 is saying we're going to have 12 bagels left over. So the question here is how many more bagels would be needed to fill that last plate? We would need two extra bagels. And that wraps up lesson, let's see, where are we? That's fifth grade module two lesson 20 and we're basically doing a bunch of division and we're really using that standard algorithm.